Hey everyone, if you're looking to take your design skills to the next level, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to blend images seamlessly using Canva. Whether you're creating social media posts, flyers, or thumbnails, this is a technique you'll love. Let's get started. First, log into your Canva account or sign up if you haven't already. Once you're in, click on Create a Design and choose your preferred size. For this tutorial, I'll be using the YouTube thumbnail size, but feel free to pick what works for you. Next, upload the images you want to blend. Head over to the Uploads tab on the left panel, click Upload Files, and select your images. Alternatively, you can use Canva's built-in image library to pick photos. Once uploaded, drag them onto your canvas. Now, position the images on the canvas. You can overlap them slightly for a better blending effect. Adjust the size and placement as needed by dragging the corners of each image. Now comes the fun part, blending them. Head over to Canva and navigate to the Apps section. In the search bar, type Image Blender and click on it to open the app. Once you're in, select the image you want to blend. I've already chosen mine for this example. Next, click on Blend Selected Image and you'll see blending options appear. You can choose between linear and radial blending styles depending on the effect you want to create. Now, use the Blend Strength slider to adjust the intensity of the blend. Play around with the settings until you're happy with how the images flow together. Move it left or right to control how much the images blend together. This is where you can play around until you achieve the perfect look. I like to keep mine slightly soft for a subtle effect. And just like that, you've created a beautifully blended design in Canva. And that's how you blend images using Canva's Image Blender app. It's quick, easy, and super effective for elevating your designs. Now, for those who want a free Canva Pro Team invite link, check the video description. If you loved this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click that notification bell for more creative tips.